Hey guys, what's going on? Hope this video finds you well with just another quick tips video and I'm not gonna ramble or anything like that So let's just get right into it and start talking about these tips First up is the quick melee guys if you hit the middle mouse button You'll do a quick rifle butt and if you click the right stick in on console You'll do it as well So the great thing about this is you can finish off enemies who have been down So right here you'll see I just do a quick little melee to that guy and finish him off and it's especially good for bolt action rifles because you have such a limited ammo per clip that you don't want to be wasting a bunch of your ammo you know two shots to kill one guy is not very efficient so instead just give them a little love tap on the head when they're down and you'll be a lot better off and have a lot more ammo in your clips Next up is bracing. If you go prone or you're against a ledge or a windowsill or a wall or something like that, you can press B and brace your gun against the ledge that you're on. It is really finicky though, as you can see here. I kind of couldn't find that spot and then I ended up getting shot and killed because of it, which sucked. Sometimes that's just how it goes, but it is incredibly powerful and it massively reduces your recoil. So I'm gonna show you guys here, firing without bracing with the BAR. It's gonna skyrocket all the way up into the air and basically you, you won't be able to hit anything like that but here i have to find that brace spot again really finicky but I, I do end up getting it and then here it is not pulling down at all but braced and you have zero recoil so again this is so ridiculously powerful with lmgs if you manage to find that sweet spot and you're in the right position right time you can just take down entire squads like they're nothing Next up is magazines, guys. So magazines are stored and enlisted. So as you see, I reload from 20 and I go to 14. And that's because my next biggest size mag is actually just 14 bullets. And then I go zero to just 20. And that's because I, you know, just reloaded that magazine with 20 bullets in it. So the magazines are stored. They are tracked and enlisted. So once you start running out of ammo and you don't have full magazines left, you're going to start loading those previously you know reloaded magazine so if you if you start running out of ammo be aware that the mag you're loading in now might not be full all right next up is quick throwing grenades guys a lot of people already know this but if you hit g you will actually just quick throw a grenade as opposed to having to hit five or, or scroll through whatever it is on console and pull out the nade and then throw it which takes a lot more time and isn't nearly as efficient or anything like that so again just hit g you can also throw the other grenade types with uh, i think n um, we'll throw explosive packs and I think like comma or some garbage will throw smoke grenades That's not nearly as useful as grenades because with grenades you can do stuff like you know Right there just throw it into a building real quick run around the corner or maybe in you know d-day You can toss a nade into a bunker jump around the corner It goes off and then you run in finish off anyone who is still alive stuff like that is really really effective And when you want to be using the quick throw for the grenades Now this one here is a double tip so number one, pay attention to your surroundings. Listen for gunshots. Listen to specific gun sounds. And number two, pay attention to that kill feed. So as you can see here, guys, I heard that auto cannon firing. I saw it fly across my screen. And in the kill feed, I saw a 20 millimeter cannon. And that means there is a T60 prowling around over here somewhere. I don't quite know where, but I know his general area, which means I'm going to be able to outflank him and take him down. And this is also important whenever you're in a plane. You can see if there's enemy planes getting kills with those big rockets or bombs or things like that now you know okay there's a plane around i need to be careful and it's also important when you're in infantry if you're running around and you know you're with a bunch of allies and suddenly you you know you're uh, you're american you hear gavera fire to your left that's going to be a red flag that means okay someone around here is not my friend and i need to deal with him so pay attention to your surroundings listen for those sounds because they are very crucial information for getting easy kills and surviving on the battlefield So guys, this is less of a tip and more of an actual just how does this happen and how do I do this? But for the most part, I've gotten a ton of questions about this. So I figured I'd throw it in here to help you guys out. So refilling your tank ammo, you can only do this in Conquest and you're going to roll up to that little ammo icon you just see me rolling past and it's going to refill all of your ammo. Super nice. It's just like how it works in planes. You just got to roll over it. Some maps, these are really easy to get to and some maps like Monastery here, it is awful. It is in the middle of nowhere and you're probably better off just suiciding and then being an infantry squad or something like that. But that is how you refill your ammo in tanks. It doesn't repair your tank. It doesn't give you your troops back or anything like that. All it does is refill your ammo. So there you go, guys. That's how you do that. I hope you guys learned something here. I know a lot of these tips were pretty basic, but you know, a lot of players might not know these, so I wanted to get this out there to you guys, and hopefully you guys found something that you didn't already know. 
if you guys enjoyed the video please remember as always to like comment and subscribe seriously it does help me out we just hit 3,000, which is unbelievable to me we'll see where we're at in a month from now and it's going to be absolutely incredible and remember guys you can always come over and hang out with me at twitch.tv slash hey quadro chat with me play some games you know so on so forth and you can also join our community discord the link for that is down in the description and i'll see you guys next time